Ethiopia's Prime Minister says it's time to lead by personal example. It's a dramatic new step in the conflict that's devastated the northern Tigray region. In a statement released on social media, Abiy Ahmed said, This is a time when leading a country with martyrdom is needed. I will go to the front line and lead the military from the ground myself. Those of you Ethiopians who want to be remembered by history for the sake of your country, join me in the fight today. Analysts say it's an unusual move by the Prime Minister. I think it is a sign, a hope for, that that will also mobilise other Ethiopians to join the military forces and uh, to join the war against the Tigrayan Defence Forces. But certainly it is also a sign of desperation. In response to the Prime Minister's statement, the spokesman for the Tigray People's Liberation Front tweeted... Abiy's mimicry of Ethiopia's wartime emperors has taken on an all too palpable schizophrenic overtone. I would have dismissed this as yet another sick joke. Abiy ordered a military offensive against the TPLF last November, saying it was in response to attacks on army bases. The TPLF says it was unfairly targeted. But in June this year, Tigrayan fighters recaptured the regional capital, Makeli, and they're now advancing on the capital, Addis Ababa. Despite a flurry of recent diplomatic activity, a ceasefire has not been reached and analysts say the language used by Abiy in Monday's statement is worrying. He does have a military background. If you look at his Nobel Prize speech from some years ago, he used a lot of war imagery to talk about the lessons he'd learned about the hell of war. Uh, but here we are, you know, almost full circle with the Nobel Peace Prize winner uh, using the most bellicose language um, to try to, you know, ramp up the stakes ahead of this defense, not only of Ethiopia, but life and death. You know, he says basically he's willing to die for the cause. Both sides of the conflict continue to maintain hardline positions and have set preconditions ahead of any negotiations. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.